All right, today looking at the Baofeng GM15 Pro. This is a very inexpensive GMRS radio. Typically runs between 25 and 35 US dollars at the time of this recording. Typically comes with this antenna on it. They do have kits that you can get and uh, that come with that antenna plus the, hard to get it in the whole frame. It's like a cheap Nagoya knockoff antenna. Very flexible. Also, if you got a broken arm, you can get in there and scratch that itch with this antenna. Great antenna. Uh, it picks up slightly better than the one that comes with it, which is this one. Not a whole lot of noticeable difference. So if it didn't come with one, I don't know if I would spend the money and buy this. Um, yeah, but it does pick up a little bit better. And this radio is rated at five watts on the high powered channels uh, that are not the FRS channels that mix in with the GMRS bands. So like uh, the ones that uh, you could communicate with those blister pack radios, the FRS radios, those typically are like half a watt. Um, if you're on one of the high powered channels, 15 and up, I believe, uh, those can go up to five watts with this radio. And it's probably a little bit lower than that, I would speculate. Uh, it's able to do the, here in the U.S., the NOAA weather radio channels. You could scan those, get a weather report. Got a nifty little flashlight in the middle. It does support the, uh, the privacy codes, the CT, CSS, and DCS codes which is nice. Uh, that doesn't keep other people from listening to you, but it keeps you from hearing other people. So if you just want to have a private conversation between yourself and another party, you could throw some, some, some DCS codes on a particular channel, and then uh, you wouldn't have to listen to anybody else that wanted to butt in on the conversation. Pretty nice feature. I like that when I'm out, out with friends uh, in a populated area where there might be other radios. So that way we're just talking within our group. Now this radio is repeater capable. And if you're in an area like I am, I live near a mountain range in Colorado, here in the USA. They have a repeater up on one of the mountains that's within sight of my house. And as long as I'm in an upstairs floor of the house or outside, I can hit that repeater and I'm able to talk to people 40 miles away. It's, it's amazing that this little radio can do that. But that's really not the cap capability as far as range goes of the radio. That's more of the repeater. But where this is nice, it is a repeater capable uh, radio. Now, out of the box, it comes pre-programmed with 22 GMRS channels that you can receive and transmit on. And also eight GMRS repeater channels. Now, these repeater channels are, are just the frequencies that are plugged in. There's no... Uh, tones on them already. You would have to add your own, which most repeaters will have some sort of of uh, tone that you're going to need to input for the receive and the transmit. So all you would have to do is go to one of those repeater channels in the programming software, and yes, this is a programmable radio. You can do it from the keypad, or you can do it by attaching it to a computer. You can add those tones in, and those repeater channels uh, will be uh, programmed for the repeater that is in your area. Now we'll say um, it, it's not the easiest thing to program, but once you get the hang of the mindset behind the programming method, it's, it's not too bad. Um, also another nice function of this radio is uh, the antenna is removable. This is the connector. That's an SMA. So you know what that means. You can put your own antenna on, or you can even hook to an external antenna. Let's say you had a, a mag-mounted antenna on the roof of your car, or an antenna outside of your house. You can screw this in. And then you can accept a different type of cable. So you can use your external antenna. That is great, and it definitely does help. It's... Uh, 
definitely the the antenna placement, the type of antenna. That gives you that extra extra bit of range. Out of the box, I was able to talk to my second GM15 Pro using the just the, the two antennas that came with it, two to three miles range. And that's with one party in a car and the other party in a house. So if you were out in an open space or one, one of the persons had a, uh, a height advantage, like they were up on a hill or a mountain, it's, it's pretty good range. Uh, but yeah, right out of the box in an urban area, two to three miles, open area, much further. Hitting the repeater, even further. So this radio has got a lot of potential. I like it. I've enjoyed using it. Um, it is USB-C chargeable. So if you can, let's see, see that port right there. That uses just a standard USB cable. So let me, and it's USB-C, which is the newer standard. Uh, what's nice about this is you could plug it in this way or plug it in that way. It's this, there's no up on it. It's the same on both directions. So you don't have to fiddle around with, is it upside down or not when you're trying to plug that in. So let's see if I can do this on camera. So as it's charging, you'll see this like orange colored light. When it's finished charging, it turns green. Cool thing is I'm not going to transmit. I know I don't have an antenna, so, uh, but I'll turn that on. Turn that on. Uh, you can actually have it plugged in while you're using it, which is nice if you wanted to do that. that off. Let me put this other antenna on so you can see the difference uh, when they're on. It's, uh, we'll put this one on. So let's take the adapter off. And to get a shot of this, I'm going to zoom the camera out here. All right, so this can give you a different uh, perspective on the, the antenna. And probably double in length. So it looks like from the side. Yeah, that's a pretty good antenna. It, it doesn't add much to it, though. If, if it didn't come with it, I don't think I'd buy it. Like I said a few minutes ago, but yep, neat antenna. So... Uh, when you first turn it on, the arrow indicates which channel you're actively on as far as when you're transmitting. And you can use that button to go between the two if you had like a second one you wanted to monitor. On the side, push to talk. Also has an FM radio. For this button. I don't know why you'd want that, but if you did. Uh, on the side, here's where you've got this pull down. You can put your programming cable there if you got one. If not, you can also use an external headset microphone uh, that goes in there. And then for this bottom button, that is your handy dandy flashlight. Look at that. You can also blink. Hopefully they didn't throw anybody into a seizure, sorry. But yeah, that's the side button. So light, that FM radio, push to talk. Has a belt clip that you can remove if you don't want that. If you had a charging cradle, you've got some pins there. Positive on the left and uh, negative on the right there. And then again, on the bottom. Here's what we got here. The battery is removable. So if, so if you wanted to buy an extra battery, this is the battery portion right here. I can't do that very well with a one hand. That's well, one good hand, I should say. Okay. But yeah, that is a quick look at that. Uh, let's take a look at the programming aspect of it. Now that part's a little bit lacking. It's not the easiest thing to program and it's not the easiest thing to find the software. But let's go over that. As programming the GM15 Pro, this is what the programming cable looks like. There's the label side. 
USB A on one end, and it's got that uh, connector that goes in the side on the other. So let's see how that goes. If we pull this down, you'll see the larger of the two is at the bottom. So you need to turn this up like this. Plugs in there, and then let's plug it into the computer. Power it up at that point. All right. So let me see if I can get this in frame here. Some of this software that's out in the wild at the time of this recording, now keep that in mind, this is made in February 2024. There are Windows, Linux, and Mac versions of some of the software, then and other other software that's out there it's um, maybe windows only so i'm sh i'm showing this on a macbook but if you look at the screen you'll actually see that windows is on here i'm running a, um, a program that came with the mac called boot camp it allows you to to boot into mac operating system or to windows the cool thing is you can use windows 10 or 11 for free there's as long as you don't mind the activation uh, 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 what do you call that, uh, watermark that'll be in, in the bottom right if you uh, don't want to activate it or buy a copy and they, you can use it for free just for this purpose. Uh, maybe that's the way to go if you've got a MacBook and you can't load Windows software. If you got a Windows machine, oh, you're in good shape then. Uh, funny enough, Chirp does not work with this radio. I, that's my favorite software for programming. It does not, but this does and it's it's from Radi Radiotity, and it's for their GM30 radios. This is a not a Radiotity. This is a Baofeng, and it's a GM15. But evidently, it's the same radio. So that is the software I'll be using for this. So let's go ahead and open that up. And then on your radio, you can see you've got your 22 GMRS channels. Uh, you can change the name on those if you want to put a label on them or something like that that's always handy if you've got one that's uh, that's used for a specific purpose and then once you get down to 23 that's that's where your uh, your eight repeater channels are in and of course you can add custom channels you can add hundreds of them i think it's like 200 I, i'm not sure the exact number i'll have to look that up but it, you can add additional channels that aren't already in here but that's just, this is how the radio comes out of the box and if you'll notice there's no box for the tones so if I wanted to use uh, let's say this one 25462.6 there's no tones on that so even though that's what my repeater frequency is and the offset is 5 megahertz like it should be uh, it's not going to work with the repeater that's here in my area because there's no tones inputted yet so if you need, first need to get those tones, but if you look, it's this arrow off to the side, and then you could do them here. So here's the uh, the decode and the in, encode. So then you pick the one that's appropriate for your repeater, and uh, then name your repeater channel. So when you're flipping through the dial, it actually shows up. This is a Metro, and then once you're done, you know, you can write that out to the radio by going up here at the top and select Write to Radio. So, yep, yeah, it's not the easiest to program, but it's doable. You can also do it on the front. So let's, uh, we're not going to write anything to it. I'm going to unplug, and let's look at the front of the radio here. So if you want to change some of the settings, let's go up and we'll go to... Uh, We'll change channels. This is the up and down channel buttons. We'll go up to channel two, three. channel 23, which is the start of the repeaters. So if you hit this button over here, menu. it gets you in the menu mode. This goes up and down in the menu. And you can get uh, to what you need to, to change here. So if you want the Roger beep on, hit that button again it highlights it down here then you could do the up or down arrow to go through the options that you have for that one setting 
I've got it to on. I'll hit it again. Confirm. So now that if it was off, it would have been turned on. And you can go up and down with these channels. Just the squelch. If you want it to beep between menu options, that drives me crazy. I... Wrong. So you can turn that on. Hit... Confirm. That's nah, on. I don't want that. I'm going to turn that off. Confirm. And this is the uh, go back button. So after you've done make, making all your changes, hit the go back and you're back at your menu. Good to go. So yeah, I just wanted to give this quick overview of the Baofeng GM15 Pro. You can get this off of Amazon.com or any of the online radio sales places. Good little radio. doesn't cost a lot. Great to have in the, in the truck. So with that, until next time.